Lord, I come in your name thanking you for every gift in the offices of the fivefold ministry. I thank you for apostles. I thank you for pastors. I thank you for teachers. I thank you for prophets. I thank you for evangelists. I thank you, God, that you have called them, Lord, for the perfecting of the saints, for the edification of the body, that, Lord, we wouldn't be tossed to and fro by every wind and doctrine and trickery of men. I thank you, God, that they have been placed in the body of Christ, Lord, to cause us to grow into full stature, to know who you are, to be strong in you. And to be effective, Lord, as witnesses for the kingdom of God. I pray and ask that you would preserve all of those offices. That every man and woman that walks in those callings. That God, they would make their election and their calling sure. I pray, God, that they would not be disqualified because of sin and because of their flesh. I pray and ask, God, in the name of Jesus, that those who walk in those offices, God, would understand what their call is. And that, God, they would sharpen their iron, sharpen their tools. That, God, they would continue to be in your face, Lord, going before you and petitioning you for direction and, Lord, for wisdom. And I pray and ask in the name of Jesus that, God, you would clean them up if they have any defilement on their garments. I pray for your blood to wash their robes and cause them to be white. I pray and ask in the name of Jesus that anyone who's operating in an office that should not be operating, that, God, you would expose them and cause them to have enough sense to step down. I pray, God, that you would call those who should be in position and call them, God, to position. I pray and ask in the name of Jesus that, Lord, they would accept that call and that, God, they would be qualified for it, that they've spent time in your presence being pruned by you, being perfected by you, and being proven by you. I pray and ask in the name of Jesus that, God, you would remove every false prophet, every false teacher from out of the pulpit, expose them, expose their lies and who their true father is. I pray in the name of Jesus that no longer will they affect the body of Christ and cause children Lord, to be wavered in your kingdom. I pray and ask in the name of Jesus that God, you would even remove false doctrine from among the believers and out of every household of faith. I pray and ask in the name of Jesus that in this hour, Lord, we all be busy about reading your word and gaining understanding for ourselves. That God, we would truly be working Workmen that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, because we're studying to show ourselves approved unto you. I pray and ask in the name of Jesus that God, you would make your word alive to us. That God, when we open the Bible and we begin to read, that God, it becomes rhema to us. It becomes food to us. That it becomes a preservation for us, God. That it keeps us and it holds us and it comforts us and it inspires us, God, to do more for your kingdom. I pray and ask ask in the name of Jesus that God you would continue to allow the gifts of God to be loosed in your in your house and in in this world I pray in the name of Jesus that we don't bind up any of our gifts because your word says that whatever we bind on earth it'll be bound in heaven so I pray that we don't bind up any of our gifts that father whatever you've graced us to do that we are liberated to do it and that we that, God, we do do these gifts, that we operate in these gifts, and we do it, God, without partiality, and that we do it, God, according to your will. I pray that, God, we would loose our, our gift of giving, that we would loose, God, the gift of mercy, loose, God, the gift of rulership, loose, God, the gift of ministry, loose, God, the gift of faith, loose, God, the gift of teaching, loose, God, the gift of prophecy. I pray, God, that these gifts would be in operation, not only in your house of faith, but that they will be in operation in our house, that God, we prophesy to our children. We proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ to our family members, that God, we start right in our own homes. And then God, we change our communities. And then God, we change our places of work. And then God, we change our churches. And then God, we can change a nation. So I pray in the name of Jesus, that God, we will start right where we are in our own homes. And I pray pray, God, that we will pray fervently for direction from you and that we don't move ahead of you and that we, God, are trailing behind you, trusting the steps that you've already made for us are the steps we're supposed to be walking in. We honor you this day, Lord, and we pray that your will be done because we're going to walk in your will and we're going to trust that whatever is done in this earth, God, is done by your divine principles. And we pray this in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen.